All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Shirogorov Neon with me uh, for a review. And as usual, we're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this guy. But first of all, let's just do a size check over here. This guy is 7.75 inch long overall. Uh, with a 4 inch long handle and roughly 3.5 inch long blade. 3 point, yeah, maybe 3.4, something like that. Uh, so it's uh, it's not a big knife. Like, for example, this is uh, your Ontario Red number 2 and this is the Ontario Red number 1. Look at that. It's a little bit bigger than the 2. Uh, for example, compared to the Spyderco Para 3, it's a little bit bigger than that. But I mean, handle size, very comparable, a little bit more of packing edge, uh, packing a little bit more edge uh, compared to that. This is the Spyderco Paramilitary th uh, 2. As you can see, bigger boy for sure. And what else do we have? Of course, the bigger brother. So basically, this guy is a mini version of the F95. This is a beautiful blade from Shirogorov. And uh, of course, we've got uh, uh, Spectre. This is V4. Uh, so look at this. It's not that small. I mean, it's not that big, of course, but not that small. This is another titanium frame lock, beautiful piece from Koenig Knives. This is the Arius Generation 4 Style 55. What else do we have? Yeah, why not? We have a Hattie right over here. And uh, what do we have also? Of course, of course. Chris Reeve Knives, Benza, large, 21. And uh, yeah, let's do it up against the Spartacus Schmock right over here. So as you can see, this is not like a huge knife. It's the perfect EDC uh, size, I think, uh, because it's um, it's very compact, very slim, very sleek, uh, very light. Uh, it's beautifully, beautifully done. Um, I'm sorry that this is uh, already sold, but... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of regretting this because uh, I really, really like this this pattern here. Uh, I like the um, overall uh, package. Um, so probably you're gonna see pretty soon a Neon Zero in the house because yeah, I'm uh, you know I, I really love the simple design. Like for example, this guy over here, absolutely love the sleekness, the simplicity going on. So probably having one like that in this shape and form and weight, yeah, it's gonna be killer. So uh, this is the uh, neon frag has this nice frag uh, milled uh, uh, pattern going on on both sides of the scales and the geared uh, backspacer going on uh, contributes to an overall really really balanced look really really cool you have um, of course the classic shirogorov design but shrink down to um to the neon uh, uh, shape which is smaller than the f95 of course uh, these scales are titanium, uh, really, really nicely milled out, guys. The precision is incredible. You've got a, a nice uniform stone wash finish, bear logo going on over here, monkey edge logo right over there. Uh, and that's it. Basically, uh, for the billboarding, you have nothing on this side and just M390 over here. So really, really nice and clean look. Classic lines, guys. Uh, nice um, uh, finger groove over here. You don't have the... Uh, uh, indentation for the lock bar like you find for example here you see you have this chunk sticking out in this case you don't it's just like uh, um, flush with this handle but you have some mill milled out areas over here to disengage the lock bar like so uh, you've got of course internal milling nice skeletonization done on both sides to reduce the weight internal chamfering going on uh, beautifully beautifully done the, the flipper tab it's uh, a little bit different than what I love which is this guy in fact you see much different. We're gonna chat a little bit about this one later. Uh, of course, you've got uh, um, the new style jimping. You have the uh, 3D mill titanium backspacer with integrated lanyard hole loop over here going on. Really, really easy to access. And uh, also the backspacer is a centering backspacer to show off how centered this uh, blade is. And of course, to protect uh, the tip, uh, your finger from the tip, because look at this. the actual tip of the blade is longer than the scale so they had to do an 
external kind of uh, backspacer um, going on over here to protect the tip. Look at that. Really, really cool. This actually reminds me of this one over here where the blade is sticking out so much that they had to do an external backspacer kind of loop uh, nanner hole over there. So really, really cool guys. Uh, you've got of course uh, your lock bar uh, insert uh, in stainless steel to reduce or avoid completely uh, lock stick. Um, this lock face insert as an over travel stop which is integrated, really, really cool. And it's of course screwed in from the inside, uh, leaving a very clean look for the, for the lock bar. Really, really cool option. Of course, you've got the classic Shirogoro uh, screws, which are, let's say, proprietary. You can, you can use a dime or a nickel, so some soft metal uh, coin to disassemble this guy, but I don't uh, really advise that. You can use like a, a homemade tool, or you can get uh, the, uh, uh, their, the, the tools that they are selling. So you have a couple of options right over there to disassemble this guy. Remember, this is running on multi-row bearings, which are not caged. So when you open this one, just be really careful not to lose anything. Uh, pocket clip, classic uh, 3D mill titanium stone wash, night spring tension on this one. Uh, it's It has only one point of contact right over here. And you, you see like the, uh, the lock bar uh, relief uh, cut out over here, which is gonna also help a little bit to slide the edge of your pan of your pocket uh, 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 underneath this uh, clip to facilitate your uh, sliding in and out of the pocket of course tip up carry only uh, it's not reversible so this knife it's not going to be ambidextrous whatsoever um, blade classic blade i mean this is um, this blade shrink down so this is f3 uh, and it's uh, the difference is just the missing logo so you see that the the um, there's some uh, uh, jimping going on on the top right over there and you have nice swedge going on and then a drop over here which is different than for example your f95 or hattie which is just sweeping down gently all right in this case you have uh, this angle over here so it drop it's kind of like straight up to here and then drops and then you have a lot of belly like 70 percent right over here almost full flat grind nice stone wash finish zero billboarding on this side just m390 going on over here of course classic plunge grind uh by shirogoro sharpening choil and check out how thin behind the edge this guy is Pretty thin uh, stock, so this is going to be a super cool slicer. Green uh, grind symmetry is spot on. I don't see any difference on either side. Edge symmetry is uh, really, really good. It just widens a little bit uh, on the tip, but nothing too crazy. And um, uh, the uh, overall uh, job on the spine is beautiful, guys. Like, I like how the swedge goes on up to this point and then stops to uh, preserve the tip thickness like that. So this tip is going to be strong because if they, they do like a, a full swedge up to the tip, maybe they, they would reduce the strength uh, right over there. Really, really cool job, guys. So for what concerns the sound... I mean, this is a very nice clack and a nice thud for a small knife. It's very, very cool. Oh, that's a beautiful and deep clack and nice thud, dampened, very solid. It's really, really nice done. I really like this sound. I don't know why, guys. Let me know in the comments what do you think, but I think this sound, it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the weight of this little guy is gonna be 2.7 ounces. Yeah, 2.7 ounces, guys. It's uh, ridiculously light. It's beautiful in the pocket. It's the perfect size and weight for summer EDC where you have like uh, light pants or like something, uh, you don't want anything too bulky or too heavy, yeah. This is slim, it's sleek, it's uh, light, it's beautiful, it's grippy. 
it's it's the right one uh, it's the right EDC guys I think uh, of course like on the feeling uh, point of view uh, you have zero hot spots like with any shiro i never experienced any kind of hot spots uh, uh, in the grip there's no sharp edges you have um, this jimping here it's not really functional to me it's a little bit on the slippery side but it's <laughs> damn good looking um, not really much for uh, reverse grip because you're missing a little bit of grip over here because this is again a small knife um, but overall, this feels absolutely sturdy and solid in the hand. Look at this backspacer is giving a lot of rigidity to the overall structure and uh, it's it feels super solid. And this pattern over here, it's grippy. It's not slippery. It's gonna stick in your hand like really, really nice. And if you check like fit and finish, I mean, on this point over here, it's insane. It's beautiful to the touch because you don't feel any lip any bevel anything going on and then look at this shrinks down the pattern to this gorgeously milled area for the lanyard hole like indentation going on beautifully matched up look at this i mean uh, fit and finish of this guy is phenomenal, of course, no blade play, uh, no rattling, clip retention is spot on, very nicely designed, deployment speed. Okay, so um, light switch, push button. This knife is not for a push button guy, doesn't work and it hurts because of the shape of the flipper tab. If you do a light switch, absolutely fast and uh, furious really really cool uh super smooth this guy runs on multi-row bearings as you can read from there detent strength is gonna be on the i would say on the medium side um very very nicely done like over here super uh, i mean guys this is a well done knife um I would have preferred maybe a little bit more of room here because uh, you need to jam your thumb a little bit like that. So I like to use it more like this, but not a biggie. You can still grab uh, into this milled out area over here to release the lock bar and to disengage it. Zero lock stick. Of course, you don't have the detent ball ramp. You're going to feel the hard step a little bit going on. You have, of course, free fall as soon as you disengage. And then you just uh, need a little wiggle because this is a new one. So it needs to be broken in. But I'm sure after some flips this guy is gonna have the classic guillotine effect uh, that you see for example in this guy which is uh, just like that so it's gonna happen to this little guy over here as well but i mean overall guys this is a really really cool knife it's not cheap because it's gonna run you at least 700 dollars something in that range beautiful looking uh, great uh, fit and finish awesome sound absolutely outstanding grip even if it's a small one so it's it's a good one i like this one so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and stay tuned